Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows 10 KB5000842, which is part of the March 2021's update cycle, also known as a preview build, is now rolling out to Windows 10 versions 2004 and 20H2. Now, it was released yesterday on the 29th of March 2021, and I received mine this morning on the 30th of March in my part of the world. Now, KB5000842 is an optional update, and it will take your OS build uh, if you are running 20H2 to 19042.906. So just to check your OS build, go to your search box, type in WinVer, and if you are on 20H2, the update will take you to OS build 19042.906. And if you are on version 2004, you will have OS build 19041.906. Now, to get the update, just go to your settings, update and security. And if it hasn't done so already, you can just check for updates and it will just pop a header at the top here where it will say optional update. And then if you want to, you can download and install the update um, whenever you want to. Now, to check if you have the update, just go to view update history. And because it is an optional update, it will pop it down at the bottom. In other updates and here it is cumulative update preview for Windows 10 version 20 H2 that's also 2004 KB 5000842 now if you have been having problems um, downloading the update or installing it what you can do is um, if you get in any errors on the update or and download installation process you can head over to the Windows Update Catalog, and uh, I'll leave a link in the description uh, box below, where you can just put in the KB5000842, and then you can find your version of Windows and download and install it manually if you so wish. Normally, that does solve the problem if you are having installation issues with the, um, the uh, patches that Microsoft rolls out. Now... With this update, some of the uh, uh, change logs, and I will just highlight a few of them today. I will leave the uh, full change log in the description box below as well um, to the Microsoft support website, where if you want to see an in-depth look, um, obviously too many to mention in this video, then you can go check that out for yourself as well. I will just mention a few highlights. And um, this update is finally fixing the computing filters message when using filters in File Explorer search results. And, and it's also fixed uh, the search fil where the search filter freezes or stops responding when users try to change the type of filter used. As an example, the file type, file date, etc. And Microsoft has also fixed performance issues caused by Explorer.exe and Explorer.exe is the uh, process, the service that runs in the background that actually is responsible for your File Explorer, Taskbar, Action Center and other parts of your UR that you actually interact with every day on your PC. And then another um, fix is uh, it fixes the Microsoft issue where some monitors will produce colors darker than expected. And another bug has been fixed where video playback sync doesn't work when you use multiple monitors. So a couple of monitor bugs have been addressed. And normally these optional updates do address a lot of bugs on Windows 10. And then the final one I'm going to mention in this video is the cumulative update um, fixes an issue where the system will stop responding to mouse or keyboard inputs when you use when users delete files or folders synced to OneDrive. So those are just a few of the highlights. As I say, I will leave a link to the full change log from the Microsoft support website uh, in the description box below for you if you are interested to go check that out. Now, just bear in mind that this is an optional update. So as I mentioned, um, I mentioned um, as well with other um, updates that are optional, if you are 
experiencing no none of these problems in the change log or you are quite happy with your the way your Windows 10 is working you don't have to update um, your computer with this optional update that's why it's called an optional update it is not a, a mandatory quality update like when you head over to the uh, quality updates that are installed automatically on patch Tuesday at the beginning of every month so my advice is if you are experiencing no problems with your uh, PC then rather just leave this update alone and then what happens it will roll out with the patch Tuesday coming up in April the 13th 2021 that is the next patch Tuesday and it will be part of that cumulative update rolling out on patch Tuesday April the 13th now for whatever reason you have installed it and it is giving you problems we hope not but if it is you just go to uninstall updates and you just head down to the bottom of the page and here you'll see it update for Microsoft Windows KB 5000842 you click on it and you just go uninstall follow the prompts restart your PC and then that will take it off your system and because it is an optional update it won't re-download it will just stay in your browser until the next it will stay in Windows Update sorry until your next patch Tuesday update I hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one